Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to talk about how I clean up my tracks, in particular the audio tracks, and uh, what I do to um, get them ready for mixing. So the project I've got here in front of me is a song I've been working on. This is like a composition template, so it's very lightweight. It has very simplistic drums in it that don't sound fantastic. It's got like just a simple amp sim um, for most of the bass and guitars. So yeah, nothing too special. Um, but what I'm at now is I've finished the song. I'm happy with the way the song sounds and I've, um, I've decided that I want to start exporting stems and getting them ready for the mixing stage, which I do in a completely different template. So I'll just give you an example of uh, the vocals in particular. This, this one will be about the vocals. So um, I did the, the whispers and the backing vocals earlier today. I'll just give you a quick listen of what the, um, what the chorus sounds like. Okay, so so that's the, the chorus. So what I'm really interested in is cleaning up the vocals. So what I'll do, what I'll do we'll just have a loop in that section there. And I actually have some stems already, which I need to delete. Okay, and so now what we're going to hear is um, no effects on any of the buses. It's just some effects here which I will remove as well. So this is just raw doubled up vocals. You cannot stop us, your empire will fall. Unto the death, your empire will fall. Oh. So what I want to do is um, actually have a look at what that looks like. So I have my you cannot stop us, your empire will fall. Now just note Unto the that death, I've, I've, your empire yeah, will fall. the setting for Ultimate definition is right up at 32,000, so it's going to spot everything. If I have a look at this waveform, I have you a fair bit of um, us, stuff in the bass. This is off the straight the raw death, recording off the mic, right? Off, right? So it's a bit hard for me to pinpoint. Uh, any particular frequencies at this stage, I'm not um, I'm not overly experienced in that, but to visually see it is quite quite quick. So let me start with removing um, the uh, the the base or the sub base components. So let's focus on just that one. And um, what do we got here? Okay, so this is a um, default setting. I'm just going to have a look at what my out signal looks like. You cannot stop us. Your okay, you can see a bit of booming there. Unto the death, your empire will fall. Ultimately, your so I'm going to bring in a. Um, will fall. Going to bring in a uh, high pass at probably 50 hertz. Try and bring that down again. You cannot stop us. Your empire will fall. Unto the death. Your empire will fall. I could probably bring it right up Ultimately, to here. your failure. Your empire will fall. You cannot stop us. Your empire will fall. Okay. So, so that's cleaned up the raw signal. Now what I do is I put it through a, um, a preamp. Now. Uh, what I have here, I was previously playing around with the preamp. Um, I need to, I need to drop the signal before I start because the preamp wants to boost it. So, so I'm going to first filter the sub frequencies. I'm going to drop it by. Um, in this case, it's 12 dB. And then I have this preamp VST is set to an API, I believe, um, mic preamp setting, and I've kind of dialed everything up. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to adjust 
the um, the the input so that it's uh, it's getting into the red, but then I need to back it off again with um, the volume adjuster. So let me see how that goes. You cannot stop us. Your red power will fall. Okay, so that's minus death. 12 dB. Your red power will fall. And there it's 12. And I'm pushing it nice in the red. red so all I have to do is then take fall. off the minus. You cannot stop us. Bring it back to your red power will fall. Unto the death. Your red power will fall. Ultimately, your failure, your empire will fall. Okay. So that's added some harmonics um, to the, the signal again. You're probably not going to hear it straight off the bat. Um, you, it's an accumulative thing. Eventually, with enough warmth, you can really um, hear it in the mix. Um, so yeah, so I've done that. So the next step is I had a gate there, which I don't really need because the signal's quite clean. Um, uh, so yeah, so let's check again if I need to strip anything off. Um, the signal. You cannot stop us. Your empire will fall. Unto the death. Your empire will okay, fall. Okay, so the preamps introduced a whole bunch of sub again. Your uh, failure, your at least up till about fifty. Will um. You cannot stop and yeah, if you look around, like there's some fall. constant frequencies here. Like the there's death. a 12k your there, and probably a 16k there. Your failure, um, your empire will fall. Fall. So again, I'm going to um, knock off the subs, and what I'll do is I'll put. You cannot stop us. Your empire will fall. Unto the death. Your empire will fall. Ultimately, your failure, your empire will fall. You cannot stop us. Your empire will fall. Unto the death. Your empire will fall. Ultimately, your Okay, so I've just disabled the EQ. You can see these huge uh, frequencies fall. below. 10 you cannot stop us. Your will fall. Okay, Unto so most of these you can see are moving with the voice, whereas this one kind of just stays Ultimately on the 12k mark. Same with this one. Your will fall. This is you cannot stop us. Your will fall. Unto the death. Your will fall. Okay, so I've dropped that down. Get rid of the bass. So I've cleaned up the signal. It's good to go. Now, my next step us. is to yep. um, basically pretend that I'm going through, say, an SSL um, console during the recording before I then push it to tape. So I have, um, this is a, uh, a variety of sound saturator. It's this one here, um, set to US console, which I believe is SSL. So again, you probably won't hear um, the difference this makes. I'll, I'll try and see if it comes up. You cannot stop us. Your empire will fall. Unto the death. Your empire will fall. Ultimately, your failure. Your empire You can hear a bit of a difference fall. there. You cannot stop us. Your empire will fall. Unto Except the any death. Change. Your empire will fall. So that's that's me pretending. So I've gone through a pretend mic preamp. I've gone through a pretend SSL console, and now I'm going to push it to tape to get the the effects of having a tape on there. So again, I use another variety of sound um, plugin called Ferric TDS, which is really good. I use the preset Modern Tape. Uh, it's got a few a few ones here, but um, yeah, some Modern Tape. And again, 
I'll you play cannot it. stop us. You see, it's your red power fall. It's not pushing it Undo so hard that it's death. doing any compression or limiting from the tape itself. Ultimately it's not going to have a huge effect on the signal, but um, it's just a uh, something to you dirty up that, that direct your signal. Power fall. There you go, a bit of a Undo the there. death. Your red power fall. So the last thing to look at is after all of that those effects is there anything to clean up you cannot stop us your red power fall okay so there's a Undo bit of death, sub again your red power probably fall. anything below 20 Ultimately, hertz your failure your red fire will fall you cannot stop so us your red is... power fall unto the death your red power fall Ultimately, my favorite your utilities your duck filter You cannot stop us. Your red power fall unto the death. Your okay. red power fall. And that Ultimately, up the your failure, your red fire will fall. If I wanted to, I you could push it up to, stop us. Your red to power fifty. Fall. Really, it's not going to. Nothing death. you're going to hear. Your red power fall. All right. Ultimately, so that is how I would um, do the vocals cleanup. So just run through the. The set again. I I have a raw signal coming in. I clean it up a little bit. Uh, just just simply a high pass filter. There wasn't anything obvious regarding um, you know horrible frequencies or anything that I could hear at least. Uh, then I put it through a mic preamp sim, which is just emulating an API mic preamp, um, and then readjust the volume to bring it back down to a decent level. After that, I have to clean it up again because the preamp brings in its own set of um, horrible things. One is that 12K and some more sub bass to clean up. And then I put it through a um, saturator, which is to emulate the SSL console. And lastly, I put it through a tape uh, emulator for a bit of tape saturation. And then Another clean up at the end. So I'll bring it up to 50. That's it. Thanks for listening.